you were trying to throw the ball On first and goal, second and goal Panicking at third Fourth, I'm wishing for a month Welcome to the 510 Huddle We got our guest Lecky Foto of the Arizona Cardinals from Oakland, California How you doing today, Lecky? I'm good, I'm good, boss, how are you? I'm doing good, bro. I, I appreciate you taking the time out today. I know you've been training, getting ready for the season. Um, it's good to have you on. Yes, sir, man. It's a blessing to, uh, to, to be here. Definitely. So I just want I just want to get get right into it, bro. So can you tell us about you know how how your football journey started and, and from the get in to to where you are now? Yeah, um, you know with. All the stories that's coming out now, uh, you know, with rugby and all that, um, you know, uh, most people think that, you know, I, I started off playing rugby. Um, but, you know, they, they, they don't know where, where I originally started with it, uh, was with the uh, San Diego Crusaders. Um, you know, I, I, I played football first, um, you know, uh, after my first sport. And, uh, you know, playing uh, Pop Warner, you know, from, from a young age, uh, during that time that I spent with the, with the Crusaders. Um, you know, really, that's where I started off my, my, my football career was with them. And then, you know, so I'm slowly, you know, transitioning into, uh, you know, other sports, um, you know, going into basketball, you know, uh, quite a chance to play with the, uh, the Oakland Rebels um, for, uh, for a couple of years. And, uh, you know, just getting into that AU sport and, uh, you know, and obviously uh, playing at, uh, at SL, um, you know, for, for Coach Boom and then. Uh, for, for my freshman and sophomore year, and then that's when um, rugby uh, sparked up for me. Uh, was truly my, my my sophomore year, and uh, that's when I transitioned uh, into that uh, rugby stage. And then you know it went out from there um, throughout the, the rest of my high school career uh, until we made that move um, to end in my junior year to to Utah, and uh, you know that's where things really took off with football for me um, going back into it my, my, my senior year uh, in Utah. And and I, and I want to just go back a little bit to uh, when you were playing basketball. Um, do you feel like uh, that time when you were really playing basketball for the Oakland Rebels, that has helped you in, in football and, and getting to where you're at today? Of course. You know, I, I feel like, you know, the, the more sports you play, you know, it, it, it's going to help you a lot in, in transitioning uh, you know, with, with movements and stuff that, you know, that, that you uh, end up playing whatever sport you're going to play with. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like basketball was a huge, uh, a huge sport for me, uh, you know, considering the, the way that I move and the way that I now, you know, um, those sports uh, that helped me uh, at a young age, you know, kind of, you know, carried over uh, throughout the years for me, you know, uh, leading up to this point. And, and uh, let me ask you right now: who, Who's the best uh, basketball player? Are you in the family? I'm gonna have to say it's me. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I, I already beat them. Uh, the, the whole family, uh, they know what's up. You know, you know, uh, none of them play for the Rebels, so you know that speaks for itself. Hey, I, I love it. And and Lucky, you you're the tallest one, right? Right now. Uh, I'm the tallest right now, but my little little brother, uh, little brother David, uh, he's right up there with me. Uh, might even be just an inch taller than me, but uh, but yeah, <laughs> for now, yeah. Okay, but you're not hanging with you in hoop, so it don't matter. That it don't matter. I, I, I love it, and um, and so with your time at Utah, going to your senior year, what uh, what made you decide uh to continue your football career at Utah? You know, um, going back into football uh, was a big decision uh, between me and my mom. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, after uh, you know deciding, um, it was a clear picture uh, for for me to do football instead. Um, you know, even though I, you know, was, was so involved with rugby at the time, um, just going into my senior year and moving out to a new state, you know, and, and basically starting all over. Um, you know, this, the end results for, for both sports, uh, football was a better outcome. 
um, you know, to provide for myself and my future and for my family. And um, that was the main reason why uh, I, w I went back to football. And, you know, uh, as soon as I went back to football, you know, I got that, that, that special feeling, you know, uh, putting on pads and, uh, you know, playing the game again. And uh, that's when, you know, uh, everything for me for football really took off from there. I mean, obviously you made a great choice and a dominant football player. Um, and so I really want to get into your time at, at Utah, which you're going into football. Um, you know, I, I, can, you, can you tell us a little bit about, um, you know, your, your career at Utah and and your favorite moments being at Utah? Yeah, so when I was getting recruited for uh, from Utah, um, at first, you know, I, I didn't really – you know, think that I was going to get looked at uh, coming out my senior year um, just because I, I didn't have that much football background in me. But, uh, you know, Utah took a chance on me and uh, was really the only school um, to really look at me. And, um, you know, I, I felt, you know, I, I, I take things, um, you know, with, with a huge trust and uh, personal. And, uh, you know, when, when Utah reached out to me and was really the only school uh, to keep in contact, you know, I, I felt like, uh, that school was the best for me. Um, also, it was 30 minutes away from moms, uh, you know, to, to be close to the games and all that. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I just felt uh, super comfortable as soon as I got there. Um, it, it felt at home, you know, um, especially with the, the older guys on the team uh, taking me under their wings, you know, and, and just learning from them my, my, my freshman year. Um, if I could take anything out of that, uh, was more of a learning year for me. Uh, especially, you know, coming from high school as a DN, um, I was way, way lighter, way lighter than uh, what I am now. And, uh, you know, uh, going up there, got moved inside uh, to play D tackle, uh, you know, put up some weight right after high school. So, you know, uh, my freshman year was a huge learning year for me, um, you know, taking in and soaking in everything, um, you know, that, that college experience and uh, playing you know, under the, the older guys uh, on the team, which really helped me a lot. Um, you know, as you can see, my, you know, uh, my transitioning from, you know, freshman year into sophomore, junior year, and senior year um, really helped me a lot understand my position and, and doing my job for the team. And, um, you know, I, I feel like the, the coaches and the whole program as a whole has helped me a lot you know, to become the, the player and the man that I am today. And, um, you know, one of my favorite moments uh, of all time at Utah uh, each year is playing uh, the team down south, uh, also known as BYU, uh, our, our rival. And, um, you know, being undefeated against them uh, all four years of my career uh, is probably something uh, super special to me. Uh, you know, just knowing that that history uh, behind uh, a rival uh, rival schools, you know, uh, uh, SL, you know, is it, either you know, Bishop Gore, uh, not Bishop Gordon, Bishop Dow, and all that, you know. Yeah. I, I felt that same energy uh, at Utah uh, with BYU, and uh, you know, to, to be undefeated against them for four years is, is something that I can you know talk about for the rest of my life uh, to them, you know, and. Uh, I, I think that's one of my special moments, but also um, the second, my second one is um, going or uh, winning the South. You know, being the first first team uh, in Utah history uh, to to do something special like that, and, and to, to have that you know installed at the school, and knowing that you know the the, the whole country you know now knows about Utah. Uh, football and uh, you know that that that's some to to me that that that's super special and, and, and also you know the the journey I had with my my teammates my brothers um, all four years there and and it seems like you were around a, a great teammates a great coaching staff and, and community there at Utah I mean uh, amazing four year career as a All American two time uh, first team All Pac twelve. And I, I, and I think it's amazing that you came in as a true freshman, like you said. Uh, you know, you played Pop Warner and you played, your, you know, your, your senior year. 
but you didn't have a huge high school football background and and to play as a true freshman and I think is is uh you know show your talent right away um you know get into you know after your, your amazing career at Utah um how was how was the draft process like for you training um during you know you know 2020 is definitely a weird time how, how was that for you you know, I, I, I try to go in, you know, the, uh, the, the mindset that I always go in, you know, just preparing for another another game uh, the, the, the same way I, I, I looked at it for, you know, training for the, uh, the combine and for the draft. But, um, you know, th- things didn't really uh, shape out, you know, when, when the pandemic happened, um, you know, with the, the whole process going into it. Uh, you know, it was just super weird. You know, this, this is going to be a one of a kind uh, draft class, you know, with, with everything that has been uh, going on. But uh, you know, to, just to go through it, you know, was still uh, super special to me uh, and my family to, to be along uh, with me by my side to, to go through that whole process. Um, you know, it, it felt like it still feels like you know that I'm in a movie. You know, to, to see everything that I saw as a young kid uh, growing up. Uh, back home and to you know to, to actually go through it now you know I'm, I'm trying to take it you know step by step you know soak everything in uh, but at the same time you know knowing uh, you know it's not college anymore you know I'm, I'm not you know playing for fun or anything you know like that anymore it, it, it's more of a job now uh, but you know it, it's just been crazy you know with, with everything that's going on and uh, this whole process but at the same time you know it, it helps me a lot you know, uh, going through this to, to really you know, get my mental my, my, my mental game up and uh, to really dial in to see my, my goals that I have for this upcoming season. And, and that's and I'm glad you, uh, you know, you said it's like a, you know, living a dream and and you know, I'm glad you're living in a moment. I think a lot of people, you know, start looking into the future, you know, you know, taking everything day by day. I think that's a great mindset you have and, you know, a strong mindset. Um, I, I want to get a little bit into, you know, with that mindset, you went through the draft process, uh, you know, you're drafted. It was amazing to see you and your family together. Um, wh- what has the, um, you know, what does the, the last couple months look like after the draft? Um, you know, ha- has it just been back to training, meetings? How, how has that looked? Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the, the way that I took it uh, after the draft, you know, was, you know, Celebrated with my family uh, th- that night, you know. But uh, the next day, you know, I, I I know I had to you know get back to work, uh, you know, knowing that uh, you know another guy, another player across the country, you know, is, is doing the same. So you know, I, I had to put my mindset uh, to that. But uh, after the draft, you know, um, just preparing, you know, to, to come into camp and everything, you know, uh, just been training uh, the whole time. You know, just staying ready, staying fit. You know how things got delayed uh, going into this process uh, of training camp and all that. Um, but yeah, you know we we can't you know do anything about the stuff that we can't control. So you know I, I just try to you know do my part uh, on what I can control. You know and just stay ready. You know for, for whenever we uh, you know get called up from the team. Um, you know making sure that I stay on top of everything. Uh, to stay healthy uh, coming into the season and camp. Uh, that's that's good to hear. Definitely stay healthy. And yeah, I see. I feel like I see you every day on, on IG or you or your brothers uh, getting that work in. So we definitely know you putting putting that work in. Um, and just and just I want to speak a little bit, you know, on on, uh, on your family and can you, can you tell us a little bit about you know. Your, uh, how you know? I know the the photos are very family oriented. Can you tell me, tell us a little bit just how your family you know is very close and um, you know all, all all your family has, has amazing athletes. So um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I I think that starts you know with uh, with our parents, you know our our, our mom and and pops, you know um, migrating you know from the island to to have a better life for us than, uh, than what they had growing up, you know, and, um, you know, having that installed into us from when we were young, 
you know, even up to now, you know, uh, mom is always on us, uh, you know, every day, you know, to, to be better than who we were uh, yesterday. And, uh, you know, I, I think that, you know, all that, that preaching and, uh, and her, you know, sacrifices that she had done for us you know, growing up, uh, you know, I, I think that that makes the, the, the player and, and the individuals that we are in our family uh, growing up, you know, playing sports and, you know, not just playing sports, but outside of that too, um, you know, to, to become better people uh, at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, for me, I, I feel like, you know, uh, it starts at home, you know, with, with you know, we are taught, uh, are taught at home, you know, to, uh, you know, just try to be the best person, best character that we can, you know, and that installs with not just life, but uh, in sports. And I see the same way, you know, uh, as I, you know, gotten older, how everything, you know, my, my mom has preached to us uh, as young kids. Um, slowly, you know, uh, everything's coming. Uh, everything's coming in a sense. Um, and, and realizing that right now, you know, uh, as a young man uh, going into this journey, um, you know, starting to see everything that she, uh, you know, that she talked about uh, is, is true. So, you know, I feel like it starts at home, you know, and, you know, whatever we, we were taught, you know, it, it, it translated that to, uh, to sports and what we're doing right now. No, that's great to hear. And I want to shout out your uh, – I love what you and your brothers are doing with the front line. I'm wearing, I'm wearing my hoodie right now. So that's really cool to yes, see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out front line family right there, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> can, you, can, you tell, can you tell us a little bit what, what you and your brothers are doing with, with the front line? You know, uh, Joe, you know, he, he's the mastermind behind everything. Uh, but, you know, the uh, – as for the, uh, the mentality, um, that's what he likes to call it. You know, uh, it's not just the brand, but just the mentality. Um, you know, everyone can front line. You know, it, it doesn't have to be, you know, you know, high celebrities and, uh, you know, the, the big names you see in sports and on TV and everything. Um, it, it's just a mentality that, that everyone has. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like, you know, his... his uh, his work, you know, it, it really speaks to not just those and high powers, you know, and high figures, but, you know, to, to those, you know, back home, you know, that's, you know, the, the single moms out there, you know, people working the, you know, nine to five jobs, you know, it, it speaks to them and, you know, it, it gives them, you know, positive uh, vibes and, uh, you know, to, to, to keep pushing, you know, and, and keep supporting, you know, with, with whatever they choose to do. And, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, the front line stands for, for everyone, you know, to just to be positive and, and to have that mindset to be the best person and character they can be at the end of the day. Uh, uh, and I love it. And, you know, I think front line, I'm glad, you know, your brother Joe and you guys are doing that this year. I think everyone needs that, that extra motivation and, and that, that mindset shift, you know, with, with this tough year going on. Uh, and before you know, I don't want to keep you too long, uh, but I gotta ask you what What are you looking forward uh, to most in your in your first season um, with the Cardinals? Um, for me, what I look uh, the most uh, in my first year, um, you know, is the same thing, the same mentality that I, I had, you know, at, at Utah uh, is to do my job. And, uh, you know, contribute in any way that I can uh, to my best ability uh, to the team to, uh, you know, to, to reach our team goals. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like, you know, that, that's just a short and sweet answer uh, right there, you know, to do my job and, uh, you know, do uh, whatever it takes to help the team out in my best abilities. Well, we know they're getting a winner. You, you won wherever you went, high school to college. So, uh, that, that's I'm sorry to see uh, that keep going on. Ha, have uh, Have you been able to talk with your new teammates and coaches yet, or are you still waiting to do that? Uh, we 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 have meetings now. You know, since, since we started our, our, our training camp, but uh, 
you know, the, the training camp this year is, is way different, you know, than all the other training camps that's, you know, that, that has, has happened. Uh, so this is the first time, you know, uh, you know, with, with everything that, that's going on with the pandemic, um, you know, the, this is the first time ever, you know, coaches and players, uh, you know, teams are, are, are going through this for the first time as well. But, you know, uh, we, we have meetings with our uh, teammates and, and coaches, you know, try, trying to find uh, different ways, you know, to, to still get that work in. Uh, you know, we're, we're still trying to be safe and, uh, you know, stay healthy and, and moving around uh, on our own until, you know, uh, until the league you know, gives us a word, you know, that, that we're clear to go back to the facility and, uh, you know, ask to go to work. Oh, yeah, that's... So, yeah, it's going to be, I mean, with your mentality, you, you and I'm pretty sure your team will be good to go, um, you know, focused. I definitely will be uh, buying a photo jersey this year at 9-5. Um, I get that yeah, black one. Uh, the red too close. The red too close for the Niners for me. I got to get that black. So I'm going <laughs> to rock with that, <laughs> man. I love it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, um, and then my last, my last, uh, my last question for you, um, when when you uh as you talked about you know your expectations and what you're looking forward to this season um is there any anybody in particular or any any goals set of of plays you want to make i see a lot of d linemen talk about i can't wait to sack this player or this and that do you have any of those type of goals or are you just looking forward to just doing your job and winning um you know when, when i hear players you know uh you know talk about their goals like that, you know, uh, I, I can't control that, you know, I, I don't know how the future looks like, so, you know, uh, as of right now, you know, I'm just going to, you know, put my head down, you know, and, and whatever happens, happens, you know, and, you know, just do my job when I get there, and uh, just help out in any way that I can, um, you know, when, when stuff, uh, when the season starts rolling. I mean, I, I love that mentality, you know, just, just put the work in, and everything will play out, I love it. Um, I, I just want to say, you know, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, you know, I appreciate your family and everything you guys are doing. Congrats, bro. And, um, you know, I keep celebrating. This is, is amazing. Also want to say uh, I saw uh, you officially signed your contract yesterday. So, you know, big congrats on that as well, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, man. And appreciate you guys, uh, you know, uh, reaching out, you know, especially, you know, uh, being from back home, you know, for from the town, you know, uh, I appreciate you guys doing this, and uh, you know, I, you know, just just blessed to be here, you know, just uh, blessed. Thank uh, you. Of course, man. Likewise, you know, I know you're a busy man preparing, so I'm I'm happy you took a few minutes out your day. Um, you know, welcome. You're welcome back anytime. Uh, I appreciate it, and uh, tell the family I said hello. All right. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, brother. All right, definitely. Thank you. Still went for it. It's time to change it.